Hello, my name is Miss Lindsay, and I am here to tell you about how you can request books virtually and have them delivered to you from the Indian Trail Library. So the first thing you need to do is click on Quest Link and log yourself in. Once you're in Class Link, you're going to look for the Library Resource folder. Come on, any day now, Class Link. There we go. Slow but sure. The folder always has a little bit of purple in it. And then you're going to look for Destiny. Destiny is our library software and it has a tree on it. Once you get into Destiny, you will notice that you are logged in already due to ClassLink, and you can search for books and other resources by title, author, topic, genre. So I'm going to do it by title. Okay, so the first thing that you might notice is that the book you want, The Hate You Give, has no available copies. So sometimes that happens and you can still put a hold on the book and when it gets turned in and has spent three days in quarantine, then we can check it out and deliver it to you. So you do the same thing either way. You go to details and you will notice there's a hold it button at the bottom here. And then you click save. As soon as you do that, the library staff get a little message saying that you want the book and we start looking for it as soon as it's available and then have it delivered. So let's say you don't want a hard copy book and you want to read either an electronic book on your Chromebook or on your smartphone app, or you want to listen to an audio book. I'm going to take us back to the search results and show you that for many, many books, we will also have an ebook version. And to check that out or have it assigned to you for 21 days, you will just click open. And if it's an audio book, you will just click play. So I'm going to click play on the audio book. And you will notice it takes you to another app. And the app is called Overdrive. It's also called Sora. Don't let that confuse you. And it's going to ask for a library card number and a PIN number. Don't worry. You just use your same old computer login, your ID number, and your secret password. And you click sign in. And in a few quick seconds, we will be into Sora Overdrive. So quick. All right. Now, this is a pretty easy scenario. It is evidently here. And I just click borrow. So it is telling me that it, the book has been added to my checkout page and that I have zero of four checkouts remaining. I'm going to go to checkouts so I can listen to my books, my book. Um, you will notice I have four books, which is the limit, and you can have them for 21 days. And at that point, they will automatically return. You could check it out again or renew it, but if someone else puts a hold on it, you're kind of out of luck. Then you have to put a hold on it. So. I guess try and finish your books in 21 days if they're popular. At this point, if you're on a Chromebook, you would just click on the blue listen in your browser. You don't need to download it. Um, if you're on your smartphone, um, that's even an easier scenario. I will show you a little bit how you can get that on your phone. So let us go back to class link and this time we're going to look for the Sora app directly so I'm going to scroll down so 
So you can see here we have overdrive and then we have overdrive Sora. So overdrive is going to go away at some point and it's just going to be Sora. So we're in a big transition period there. So if you click here, things will look familiar. I've already logged on to the Sora app. So, oh, maybe it's going to make me log in again. Okay. It'll look very familiar to you. You can go directly to the Sora app rather than use the Destiny catalog. If you know you want an ebook, if you know you want an audiobook. Um, so here's my loans. I can see them. I can listen to them. I can renew it. I can return it if you don't want it anymore. This is a lot more of what it will look like if you use the app on your phone. So how do you get that app? Well, it's free. And you would just go to wherever you find your apps for download, type in Sora. And then you will pick Kenosha Unified as your school district. And then simply log in with your uh, school login again, your ID number and your secret password. So. That's it for today. If you have any questions, feel free to email me um, or call the library. Thank you very much.